Oh, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for so long. I've been waiting for so long for this goofy ass fucking bitch to have something to say, you fucking half man hoe. Running around stealing people's husbands and shit. That woman invited you up in her house thinking that you was an artist and you was coming here to steal her husband, Alicia Keys. You fucking goofy bitch. See, since you wanted to get into the soup with me, let me get into the soup with you. Because I know who made you post that post. We both know Clive Davis said you better fucking go after that bitch or, or you're fucking done. So let me do his job for him. Let me finish you right now, bitch. I'm going to tell you how fucking sloppy you are with your pussy. His name is Antonio Gordon. See, what you didn't know is that we both dated him. Matter of fact, Antonio was the last man I dated before I married my current husband. He told me all about you. He was so afraid. He was so afraid to get involved with another artist because of you. Alicia, you spiteful bitch. See, what you probably don't know, because he confided it in me. But you know what? He deserves to be vindicated because you fucking treated him the same way you treated 88 Keys and the same way you drop, you probably treat your current husband, Swiss Beats. See, you shouldn't have gave him your motherfucking key, bitch. But you did. You gave him the key. You gave him the key to your fucking apartment in New York. And he flew up. Because, see, he was still doing the Celine Dion show in, Ve in, in Vegas. And he flew up to surprise you, Alicia. Hmm. Guess what he found? You fucking somebody else and you were supposed to be his girlfriend, you bitch. He walked right in on y'all. That's why he left the key, Alicia. And when you called him, he was at the airport. You didn't even know he was in New York. He didn't even tell you. That's the kind of goofy ass bitch you are. He was Jamaican. What the fuck? You ain't think he was going to pull up and check up? He checked up on you, didn't he? And look what he found. Your fucking ass. In the mud with your legs in the fucking air. And he left that motherfucking key, bitch. And he got on that plane and he never turned around. And then he met me. Just so you know, that shit fucked his head up, bitch. It made him not trust nobody in the industry. I guess y'all niggas think I'm lying when I say I got tapes on everybody. I got more tapes on you too, Alicia Keys. Alicia Fraud. Alicia, I, I, I'll do anything to not look gay. So I'll steal a woman's husband and separate a family and throw a couple of my own kids on it and pretend like don't nobody fucking exist. Don't think because you're wearing that Puff Daddy acne cream and shit that it done cleaned you up because you still fucking a whole fucking goddamn pimple. You a whole pimple just like you was when I said it to your face, bitch. You remember that night at BB King's? Yeah, I have been drinking, but a drunk man speak a sober mind, and I looked at your face, and you had all that fucking Maybelline caked up in them goddamn craters, looking like a whole fucking um, New Island in fucking Hawaii, just volcanoes everywhere. And I asked you, goddamn bitch, does that shit hurt? Well, let me ask you another question. Does your heart hurt yet? Does your heart hurt? All the people you fucked over. You want to get on my page talking shit? I got a better really. I got a better idea, Alicia. I live in Dallas, Texas. You can fly in the Love Field. You can fly in the DFW. You got the money, right? Don't you know somebody with a fucking plane? You can go to Addison if you got a plane. I'll be right there. Dress very, very much like I'm dressed right now in my workout clothes. You want to know why? Because I'll be coming to work your motherfucking ass out, bitch. You want it? You can get it. I don't get no fuck about you or fucking Clive. How about that? I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. You're a fucking hoe. And you're a fraud. Alicia Keys, yes, Alicia Keys is a motherfucking fraud. She's an average, no-talent motherfucking hack. Has something else to say, Alicia. 
That shit, I mean, all the shit that I got on you, that might change a few things for your uh for your husband, see? Cause see, he gotta pay the child support based on the facts, right? The facts, right? He left his wife for you. So you could cover the fact that you gay as shit after you whoop that girl's ass on that beach. And you fucking put Okay, her and 88 Keys, they had a real relationship and you use his career against him so that you can have control of his life. I guess you learned that from Clive just like Puff did. Y'all motherfuckers is corny as shit. Y'all niggas is corny as shit. You fake ass fucking dyke ass broad. You a whole fucking stud. You a whole stud, Alicia. Shit, if your ass had to get booked and you had to actually sit up in that bitch with no bond, like I did. You wouldn't have to go gay for the state. You could just be yourself. Why don't you do that and stop pretending you real? Because you don't wear makeup, but it's a ton of makeup that looks like you ain't wearing makeup. We all know your skin's still fucked up. You Actually, what you need to do is try to become my friend. Because my salve can clear up a whole lot of problems in your life. It'll clean you, your, your, all your shit, your skin is going to be, it's taking away eczema and everything. So if it can take away eczema, I know it can fix your motherfucking face for real. And stop worrying about um that goddamn uh Puff Daddy acne cream shit. What's it called? The Puff Daddy? The Pro, Proactive, yeah. Bitch, get proactive for real and get some of this sad for real. I get you straight. You goofy hoe. You shouldn't have let them put you up for this. You just a stupid as fucking money. What you think because we ain't friends, I ain't got tapes on. I told y'all motherfuckers, I got tapes on everybody. You owe Antonio Gordon an apology, Alicia Keys. I'm just trying to figure out was it Swiss you was in there fucking or somebody else? Maybe Swiss should know that. Moni Love used to be a brilliant female in C until she decided to opt out and become a dumb bitch for a D-boy that's been releasing the same fucking album for 20 fucking years. I'm telling you, man, all these niggas are space cadets, yo. Sputniks, rockets, poof, gone. They all going in the head. So, Alicia, um, yeah, I'm in Dallas. I heard you like to throw hands. Guess what? So do I. And trust and believe me when I tell you, I fight just as good as I sing. On my dead son, Giovanni Jake Emmanuel Wright, I fight just as good as I sing. So if there's anything else you want to say, you're probably going to be a little busy. You're probably going to be a little busy over the next couple hours trying to explain to Clive. And oh yeah, and one last thing before I go. That year that I sat on the Grammy board and I fought for all of those uh, nominations for Jasmine Sullivan, yeah, I'm the one that blocked you. It was me. I blocked you. I made sure I blocked you. Because I throw hands. Try Jesus, ho. He love you. I don't. I don't love you at all, Alicia Keys. Not even for a second do I love you. But I'm trying because I'm, 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 I'm trying to be the best Christian I can be. But North Philly be fighting and North Philly be like, yo, fuck that bitch. You should have punched in the fucking mouth. You owe a lot of people a lot of um apologies, Alicia Keys. It's your fake ass. Acting like you somebody. How the fuck they got you on the voice anyway when you ain't got one? Summer Walker whooped your ass. If the BET Awards was a goddamn competition, Summer, Wa Summer Walker whooped your ass. Jesus. How about that? You suck. And you ain't look that cute. Either. I want to fight, Alicia. That's what I want to do. I want to fight. Let's, let's just stop playing these games. Like I, I'm going to just keep saying disrespectful shit about you until you get so mad that you fly here to Dallas to make it easy for me to fuck your ass up. Like I've been shit at. I've been shit at.
You want to get on Twitter and act up over Clive Davis, who used you? Just like he used every other black singer? What you want to do, Alicia? Should we talk about your relationship with your mother or how the fuck you bombed out of goddamn Juilliard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead now. Try Jesus, ho. Don't try me. Because I get ease. Real, ah, real fast. Real fast. Dad, don't you dare ever, ever in your life. I know so much more shit about you, Alicia. I paid good money for the intel I got on you. And it was worth every penny. You just as sloppy as these niggas. Leave your pussy all over the place and evidence everywhere. You don't even know how happened. How, ma how many of these bitches actually got cameras on you? <laughs> Fucking goofball. I'm so sick and tired of these fake ass now. Oh, come on, come on. We got shit to do. I ain't got time. Bitch, like I said, I'm gonna keep saying disrespectful ass fucking shit. True shit about you. True shit. Shit that you don't even know nobody know about you. You better cease it. Or I'm going to fucking ruin the rest of you. And like I said, Swiss, ain't my fault you chose to marry a fake ass, stud ass, fucked up ass hoe. That ain't my, that ain't my fault. You had a wife. You already had a family. All of these things are true. So, you know, fucking the rest of these niggas want to kill me. Why not you? <laughs> you can want to kill me too. I'm still here. But you can put your wife on that plane. And I set it straight. Maybe you'll be able to run your house for once. Because everybody know that bitch run every nigga she fuck with. Ugh.